One of my favorite techniques to improve a photo and edit a photo is using a technique that has been developed since the age of darkroom and developing negatives. That is dodge and burn. There are many different ways to dodge and burn and there are different reasons to do dodge and burn. That is what I'm going to share with you in this video. And I'm going to show you two different methods and this is something I use so often. There are two reasons to do dodge and burn. One is to make the forms and shapes a little bit more three-dimensional. You brighten up the bright part of the shape forms and darken down the shadow part and bring it back a little bit more towards what you felt it when you took the image. The other reason you might do dodge and burn is to hide certain part of the image and put more uh, emphasis on the other part of the image. So the viewer will focus more on the things that is more important in the image. So that's out of the way. Let's get into these techniques and try to do some dodge and burning in two of my photos that I uh, recently captured. Let's start with this image here that I took in my recent workshop in uh, Farnabufiar, the National Park. Very lovely composition, very nice light and a beautiful scene. So here is raw image. I just did some small adjustments to the basic settings. This is already a good start, but I want to push this image a little bit more because I feel that this image needs a little bit more depth and oomph. Before we start dodge and burn, I want to add a couple of more layers to this image to bring it a little bit more closer to what I want to have. And then based on that, I'm going to start dodge and burn. So the first layer I'm going to add is to darken down this side of the image, this corner, but by using a gradient uh, filter and here we are going to darken down with the exposure just a tiny bit maybe add a little bit of contrast bring down the highlights more contrast perhaps because what it is closer to you usually tends to have more contrast and by adding contrast we are making a little bit more depth in this image let's rename this layer the next thing i want to do to this image is add a little bit of glow I can, I can do it now or I can do it after dodge and burn doesn't matter which one we do first i'm going to create a new empty layer call it glow with the radial gradient i want to improve or increase the sense of light coming through the scene so i'm following the light direction i make the gradient very soft push it out of the frame i can increase the uh, warmth in this light that coming through add a little to exposure it's better if we add the brightness not exposure because i don't want to necessarily brighten up the sky and very very bright spots on the grass as well lift up the blacks in the levels or you can do something like that in curves as well just adding a little bit of curve or gamma up in with using the curve or you can use the clarity or dehaze with dehaze i can pick up a warm color here and add haze, maybe it's something that is a little bit brighter. A yellow color from this grass is good. And just add a little bit of uh, haze to this layer. Turn it off, turn it on. You see the difference. Uh, one thing I don't want to do with this is to affect everything the same amount. So I want to reduce it on the shadow sides of the image a little bit so i'm going to intersect it with the luma range with the new update to capture one when you want to use luma range it's now inside the combined mask i put it to the default that i'm going to intersect with the luma range so i just need to click on this button now because it's set as default but you might have something else that is uh, set as default put it on intersect and luma range this is how you want to use luma range it needs to be intersect with the current mask click on create now i'm gonna remove it from the very very bright spots on the sky if there is any and uh, also the grass increase the red radius i don't want to have hard edges and reduce the sensitivity again to make it much softer so there is a trans soft transition from shadows to bright parts and let's hit apply i think that's much better we kept some of the contrast and dark shadows in the in this area when we added light and light comes through those trees now here is when i want to start dodge and burn on this image as i said you sometimes you want to hide some of the problems or something that is not great or working well in the image with dodge and burn one example on this image is this stone here in my opinion it takes so much attention here uh, it's not necessarily useful for this image i want to hide that a little bit so i'm gonna burn it down so it doesn't take that much attention anymore 
we have different methods of applying dodge and burn and we are going to use the first one which is a dodge and burn tools we have inside capture one now i'm going to open up the slide brush tool there are three different category categories colors enhancement light and contrast go to the light and contrast and find the burn when you start painting it will create a new layer for you and call it burn and it's already uh, picked up the brush tool right click on the image increase the size and make sure you have a low flow with dodge and burn uh, you want to build up the effect you don't want to strongly darken down with one brush stroke i'm gonna start painting over this rock and make it darker something like that also this corner and i want to make it darker as well while we are still using burn brush let's do a little bit of burn on different part of the image as well first i want to make a little bit uh, more shapes onto these stones and rocks so i'm gonna darken down the shadow sides of the rocks make the brush smaller and just paint over the dark parts of these stones and the grass as well. So I'm gonna darken down the shadow side of the grass. I think we can darken down this edge here. And also a little bit on the water. Notice that I'm darkening down the already dark part of the water. And also this tree in the corner is a little bit bright in uh, my in my opinion so i'm gonna darken it down so to hide it a little bit maybe i've done it too much but that's okay if you have done something that is too much let's darken down this side too you can always can erase it with the eraser so if you feel that it's too much then you can erase it a little bit let's turn this layer on and off and see what we have done before burning anything here and with using the burn we already improved the depths forms and shapes in this image now, while we are on the burn layer, let's see what's happening inside this preset. It reduces the exposure by tiny amount, 0.2. And what is actually happening is using the curve to darken down the midtones. This is what this brush does, or this preset does. So it's darkening down the midtones, not affecting too much of the highlights or blacks, which is great. I always push this tool uh, with uh, a little bit of more adjustment based on the image usually but uh, in general what I like to do is to increase the contrast inside this adjustment brush. So what contrast does it pushes the bright parts of the image of bright pixels towards the white and dark pixels towards black. That is how the contrast works and by doing that you actually make the dark parts become a little bit darker and the bright spots or the bright um, pixels become a little bit brighter. By doing that, you preserve the details inside the burn layer. It's not something that you always want to do, but sometimes it helps. For instance, I don't want to darken the bright uh, highlights on the grass. Contrast will help me to reduce that and maintain the, the reality in the image. I'm going to reduce the amount of the, the opacity of this layer and now we are going to dodge some part, add a little bit of more interest to the image. So let's go back to the style brush, select dodge and start painting where we want to add more light. I want to increase the light coming through these trees. So I'm going to brighten up these parts and maybe a little bit more on this part of the grass and especially on the water this bright part of the water that I want to add a little bit more light maybe add a little light on top of this grass here too I will add some light on top of the rocks again to make them a little bit more three-dimensional so here is before adding dodge and now it's after dodging some part of the image Again, in this layer, I'm going to increase the contrast because I want to preserve the shadows a little bit and details. So I'll go back to the exposure settings and increase the contrast here. Uh, the settings in this Dodge uh, style brush is the exact opposite of the burn. So it adds a little bit of uh, exposure with one, uh, 0.2 and brighten up the highlights in the curve. In this image, I can increase the Kelvin value to make this light hitting the surfaces a little bit warmer 
There are many different style brushes you have inside this tool, style brush. One of them is adding haze. I'm going to select that one and improve the haze we have here. So I'm going to bring it back to life a little bit and show that there was some mist hanging over these areas. Maybe a little bit here between the trees as well. This is where we have started and this is where we are after all of these adjustments and here is the before and after the edits on this image it's a big difference and the image becomes a little bit more uh, punchy contrasty and uh, interesting to look at let's have a look at this image beautiful scene i took in my slovenia trip recently i have a series of vlogs from slovenia one of them is out you if you haven't watched it please go ahead and watch it this was very nice and I shared some nice pictures from Slovenia. But here is one of the images that's not in that video. But I'm going to uh, do a little bit of dodge and burn in this one. Again, I did some global adjustments to this image. And now we are going to do a little bit of dodge and burn. So let's just start with dodge. Increase the size of the brush. Very low flow. As I said, we can use dodge and burn to put uh, the emphasis on certain part of the image. And this is the example of that. So I want to brighten up this road and these lines that comes from the corner with this fog, the road, this mist and clouds between the mountains. Here is before and here is after dodging these areas. Again, uh, you can increase the contrast. Now, uh, let's select the burn brush and darken down this part of the image here a little bit and especially in the foreground here. I'm going to increase the contrast again inside the, this layer. In this case, I want to increase the clarity so we see a little bit more shapes and forms in these uh, trees. And here is before and after all of these adjustments. One thing that you might want to do in some of the cases is that you want to combine these tools with luminosity masking and just make sure that you are brightening up the parts of the image that needs to be brightened. Now let's talk about the second method of dodge and burn. This is different. We are not using the capture one style or brush. But we need some sort of mask. So let's have a look at this image. This is a drone shot. What we have here is a little bit of sky that is too bright. So first thing we are going to do is to crop the image and remove the sky. What is very important for me in this image is this uh, shadow that goes across the image uh, diagonally and this little tree here that has uh, catching the light and the glow. This is the story of uh, this image. This is what I want to show. I haven't done anything to this image. I'm going to warm up the image by adding some Kelvin values and uh, dragging the tint slider towards the green side. That's all I want to do with this image for the global adjustments. Let's start with dodging and burning to improve the contrast between the bright parts of the image and dark part of the image. I'm going to create a field adjustment layer and I'm going to call this one burn. As you see, it's affecting the whole image. So if I darken down, it's going to darken down everything. We are going to intersect it with the luminosity mask and only affect the very dark part of the image, the shadows. So by moving this top slider here, I'm removing the highlights from the mask and only use the shadows on this and make it soft selection and can increase the radius a little bit and reduce the sensitivity. Now we are working down only the shadow side, so we can do the opposite for the highlights. Now we are going to create a new field adjustment layer. Oh, by the way, let's go back to the burn and increase the contrast as well. This is what we talked about before. Now we are going to field adjustment layer that we have just made and call it dodge. And this time we are going to increase the midtones with curve, increase the Kelvin value to make them warmer and we can increase the brightness as well if you want. Most important part is to use luminosity mask to just affect the parts that we want, which is these bright areas of the image. I'm going to increase the radius and reduce the sensitivity again to create some soft transition inside this mask. Here we go. Um, now we're only affecting the bright part of the image, enhancing the 
lighting that we had in the scene. We can also uh, remove some parts that doesn't work quite well. So we're going to go to subtract with brush, create a new mask, and maybe I will remove it a little bit on this uh, grass here because there is some sort of fog here that is becomes a little bit too washed out for me. I want to bring it back to what, where it was. And let's uh, turn this layer on and off. Maybe I'll increase the saturation inside this layer as well. I'm going to create a new layer just to enhance the fog and mist that we have here. So I'm going to create an empty layer with the brush and uh, a little bit of exposure, maybe contrast as well. Increasing the highlights is the same as you do with the dodge. Uh, I'm going to brush over these puffs of uh, fog here and there that we had in this image. Maybe I'm going to add some haze to this as well. And we can call this layer mist. And last layer I want to do is create a glow that comes uh, from the corners so improve the glow effect. Create a new empty layer with the big radial gradient mask. Put it out of the image, make it big. Something like that. And this time, let's call it glow. This time I'm going to use one of my own presets for that. I'm going to right click on the name of the layer, apply adjustments custom styles and I'm going to select glow or glow local. Let's see which one works the best for this image. I'm going to select glow local and reduce the opacity. There we have it. Now this is what we started with before any adjustments and now we are here. This is before, this is after these adjustments. One of my favorite tools in Capture One to apply some adjustments and darkening down, brightening up and add some contrast to the certain part of the image is using level. But if you don't know how to use levels or you're not comfortable using levels, I have a video for you that you can watch after this one. Hope this video was useful and please give the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss my next videos. Thank you so much. Have a great time. Until next time. Bye.